Hi, welcome to uh, this week's uh, news roundup. And uh, we've got a lot of hot fixes in this week and upgrades. So let's kick off first of all with Wreckfest, uh, which has put a hot fix in place for the recent released Super Tar- uh, for the recently released Super Truck Showdown DLC. Um, so it basically just tweaks a few things and a few minor issues with that one. Um, so link down below as always. Similar vein, um, Art of Rally has released an up. Uh, hotfix as well um, again a tiny one just some really little bits and pieces um, on this mainly fixes around uh, the stages and uh, one significant change on here worth mentioning is wear and tear damage on severe setting so that's severe difficulty setting has been halved which is probably good news because it was a bit insane before We've then had um, our first gameplay footage released for Rims Racing. Now, if you remember, this is the upcoming um, bike racing title from uh, Nacon's family of developers. Um, so really, it's the first serious attempt by somebody at challenging the um, supremacy of the ride series for quite a while. Um, so it's interesting to see the... Um, gameplay footage for it and it is looking good my concern around this one still remains um about basically the fact that there's only going to be eight bikes in this so that's not a lot now what it does go into and they seem to be revealing more and more of but in very small amounts is um basically just how in depth you can go with the tuning and uh, playing around and upgrading of the bikes down to different engine oils whether that will actually have any material difference and more importantly whether that material difference is accurate uh, to real world physics is an in- is another matter entirely uh, and apparently you can at any point prove um get a real-time analysis of the bike's performance uh, based on the changes you've made so it's an interesting concept i'm just not sure that there's a massive audience for tweaking only eight bikes to that level of detail but we shall see as time goes on and we learn more about that one we've then got um an update for gran turismo sport now this is actually a, quite a sizable update, weighing in at 3 gig. Um, but it doesn't translate to any visible new content. There's no new cars, no new tracks, etc. However, um, the Olympic Virtual Series is kicking off this week, so it's most likely um, that most of this stuff is going to be around video footage, new potential liveries, trackside um, horn awnings and things like that change to represent the Olympic Virtual Series. So it's a heavy one, but you're not going to see a great deal for your money. Certainly you're not if you're expecting a new uh, track or two or any new cars. Dirt 5's then had a free update. Um, This does a few decent things. So what we've got here is, first of all, a load of new liveries because it's the Red Bull Revolution update. So it's added a load of new um, Red Bull, unsurprisingly, liveries in there. Um, Some Red Bull stuff for Playgrounds mode. You can now add weather conditions to use in playgrounds mode as well, which is quite nice. Um, And they've also added in, and when you boot it up again, you'll get the option to switch on or off cross-play platform. So you can play across various platforms, uh, which is really good. Um, They've also brought ghost lap times to playgrounds and time trial modes, which then does beg the question, if you can record ghosts, and share those ghosts um, across playgrounds and time trial. Why the bloody hell can we not have replays? I mean, come on, Codemasters, this title's been out for long enough without replays. You've got a really good photo mode in here that is severely limited by the fact that you cannot save and play back replays. Um, Honestly, it, it frustrates me more than it realistically should, but there we go. Um, we then have uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione, another hotfix there, so that brings it to a version 1.7.9, um, some tweaks around the already impressive physics, um, 
uh, primarily what's in here. In fact, there's only three notes against the um, hotfix for this. So, uh, fixed setup fuel load test function with BOP limited fuel tanks. Fixed setup UI cast rounding error, which only affected it visually, not in the actual physics. And fixed potentially corrupted AI setups when reloading a saved game. So, there we go. Um, we've then also had a hotfix for race room racing experience um, and this one's got quite a bit in it so I'm not going to go through everything that's in here. It's mainly um, background improvements to um, how the memory is allocated um, and other things like that so basically just optimising the system more than anything else. Um, also interesting one I just sat here reading it and I really must go back and play this. Um, side of it. So it's when starting a hill climb run the tyres will now always be preheated. I always forget for some reason that Race Room has hill climbs in it and a quite good hill climb as well so let's go back and play around with that. And then finally um, in update stroke hotfix territory uh, R Factor 2 has updated its uh, Leisure JSP217 um, and uh, basically just tweaked it and brought it up to um, its current standard for vehicles so again links to all of these down below now in terms of what you've been watching while i've been wittering on about this is a couple of nice um mods here for Seto Corsa. First one I just want to point out is the track. It's the Lime Rock Park um, Raceway, which you may remember got an update, interestingly enough, in R Factor 2 recently. Well, the AC Reboot team has been working on their version of it and tweaked that to end an inch of its life, and it's looking really quite spectacular now. Um, pretty much from all angles, it looks great, and you've got a good variety of layouts there as well. And then the car. Now, the car is an interesting one. It's stanced, which is not something I normally go for myself. I know a lot of people do, more power to them, but it's not something I normally go for. But it's it's a very mild stance, but it is a spectacular looking R32. So it's a Pan Am Rocket Bunny um, R32. And it looks really good, which is the main thing that drew it to me. It's a nicely modelled um, R32 in here. And uh, I just like some good fun driving around um, Lime Rock Park. The stance of the rear does make it very lively at the rear as well, which is quite interesting. So... Um, links to those two down below again and as always if you found this interesting please do hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when future content gets uploaded thanks very much take care bye